Second consecutive day, India has recorded more than 11,000 infected cases of COVID-19. In the last 24 hours, 311 deaths were also reported, taking India's overall tally to more than 9,000. Last week saw more than 70,000 people getting infected and almost 2,000 fatalities. India remains at the fourth place behind Russia, Brazil and the United States of America in terms of the total number of infected cases. Take a look at the monthly breakdown of COVID-19 fatalities in India. In the month of March, there were 32 deaths. This increased to just over 1,000 in April and 4,000 in the month of May. In the ongoing month, more than 4,000 deaths have already been reported. And keep in mind that we are only halfway through the month of June. There are now eight states in India with more than 10,000 confirmed cases. They include Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh. While the overall mortality rate in India is around 2.8 percentage in six states, this rate is over 3 percentage. Gujarat's mortality rate is more than twice the national average. West Bengal has the second highest mortality rate with 4.3 percentage. Maharashtra, despite its massive caseload, has managed to keep the mortality rate under check. In Delhi, amidst a rapid surge in cases, all eyes were on the crucial meeting between Home Minister of India, Amit Shah, and Delhi's Chief Minister, Arvind Kejriwal. After the meeting, Home Minister Amit Shah announced that 500 railway coaches would be provided to the Delhi government to meet the growing demand for beds. Delhi's testing capacity will be doubled in the next two days and tripled over the next six days. The central government has also directed private hospitals to provide 60 percentage of beds for COVID-19 at a lower rate. The rates for testing and treatment will also be fixed by the government. The central government has also promised to meet Delhi's requirements for oxygen cylinders, ventilators and pulse oximeters. This comes at a time when the Delhi government is expecting a massive spike in cases over the next 45 days. The Kejriwal government in Delhi estimates that uh, Delhi will have five and a half lakh cases by the end of the month of July.